I guess you could say that Batman and I have a lot of things in common. Okay, so only one thing comes to mind at the moment, but that one thing is having a utility belt. And if you guys are curious what I keep in my survival belt, stay tuned and uh, just let the video do all the work. All right guys, so let's just jump right into it. And if you guys have any questions about any of this gear, be sure you check out those links in the description box down below for where you can find the links of where to buy this. Or if I can't find this exact make and model, I'll put something as close to it as possible in that description box down below. So check out those links. First and foremost, we have the belt itself. This is from Amazon. It's actually really inexpensive. It's a leather belt. It's not super thick. It's not uh, thin and crappy or anything like that. It's worked really well over the four to five months that I've been using it. I'm not sure how many years it will hold up, but so far, you know, two thumbs up. And then, Right here we have a what's known as a drop kit and for those of you who are not in the know basically a drop kit is a big old pouch that you can throw your beef jerky uh, wrappers in <laughs> actually that's what I've been using it for you know because I don't like throwing my trash all over the woods when I'm hike hiking and stuff but it's a great way to gather tinder as you're going so moving right along we have a Leatherman in a Leatherman sheath. This is uh, the nylon sheath that Leatherman makes. It's actually pretty inexpensive. And attached to it on the outside, we have, this is what's known as a Nano Striker from the company known as Exotac. And on this side, we have a flashlight, just a real small flashlight from Olight. Like I said, I'll link all the stuff down below if you guys are curious. And on the inside, probably not too surprisingly, we have a Leatherman multi-tool. Now this is a signal, if you guys don't already have one of these, you should get one. I'm a big fan of not just Leatherman, but the Leatherman signal for an outdoor multi-tool. It's got a pommel right here, which most multi-tools don't have. You also have a ferro rod here, so you can create sparks, start a fire. And now over here you have ways of uh, keeping things sharp as well as there's a whistle in there and then just a bunch of uh, tools including a knife as well as a little saw in here. So really cool and obviously the pliers that's going to be really really helpful in a worst case scenario and that's why I have this uh, survival belt is because I like to go out into the woods and do some hiking but the bag that I have is not necessarily meant for bugging out or for surviving. It's more of a day pack or something like that. So I'll be wearing this just in case there is any contingencies. I also have a Bic lighter. I just keep that in the back of this Leatherman pouch right here. It's pretty self-explanatory, easy access to multi-tool and fire. Okay, moving right along. We have this really cool leather, relatively inexpensive, handmade silky saw sheath, but it also will work for the Laplander saw that's really popular in the bushcraft and survival community. So I'll leave a link for the Etsy store for that down below. But we also have the Pocket Boy from Silky Saw. And I really, really love this saw. I've used it a few times already. And as long as you're not doing anything crazy, you will be good to go. This will cut through pretty much any regular size branches. And I've created a couple of walking sticks because of its capabilities. So I'm a big fan of the Pocket Boy from Silky Saw. And then right here, I have a uh, paracord dangler or whatever you want to call it. And this is made out of the fire cord 550, which means that on the inside of it, it is lined with a fire tinder. So got some paracord, got a large cutting tool. And this paired with the multi-tool, paired with the knives that I'll show you here at the end. It's just a really awesome combination. All right, moving along. Oh, don't want to forget. I got some gloves down here as well as an extra uh, Night Eyes carabiner clip. Just in case I come across a bottle of beer in the woods, I could use that to crack it open. But also, sometimes you just come across things and you, you just want to clip it to you, or take something out of your backpack, clip it to you, or whatnot. All right, moving on to, this is one of the several pockets that we're gonna go into, but this is from Condor Outdoors. Like I said, I'll try to link it down below. And we have a shh tea kit. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. But we also have under here some insect repellent as well as some sunblock. 
We also have a signal mirror in here, as well as a fishing kit. And then Doc Spartan, I don't know if you guys have seen the Shark Tank episode on that. But anyways, this is a pretty awesome combat ointment. So two words that don't really always go together, but it's an awesome product for sure. And then we have this thing, which is potable agua drinking tablets. This will purify one liter of water. And then we also have a bag that can hold one liter of water. So that is everything that is inside of this pocket right here. All right, and that brings me to the largest pocket that we're gonna be talking about today. And this sits on the small of my back, right in the center, so it's nice and comfortable. The whole belt is actually comfortable the way that I have it set up, and it's actually not too heavy either. It's only a couple pounds. So on the outside of this, we have, this is a pilot pen, and basically it has a black ink, red ink, as well as a mechanical pencil in it, as well as a little eraser hidden right there. And then over here, we we have a ferrocene rod with a paracord. And then on this outside pocket, we have another ferro rod with a striker. And then, of course, you need to have your Velcro uh, morale patches, including a Batman one, because Batman also had a utility belt just like this, and his superpower is being prepared. All right, and diving into this pocket, we have some snacks right here at the top. And on the inside, we have a bunch of different ways of starting a fire. So we have, this is from Exotac. This is a lighter. Also from Exotac, this is the rip stool. It's got duct tape as well as needle and thread. And from UCO, we have some waterproof matches. All right, and diving into this further, we have some fire tinder as well as some candles. And these are great ways of keeping that flame around a little bit longer, especially if the fire keeps going out. It's good to have multiple ways of starting that fire or maintaining that fire. Over here, we have some Purell hand sanitizer as well as some orange duct tape. And the reason for this is to mark and kind of leaving a breadcrumb of locations where I've been or to help people find where I am, as well as just it being duct tape itself. We have a, another Bic lighter. We have an Altoid survival tent. I'll go ahead and leave the link for my Altoid survival kit in the description box down below. Uh, Fresnel lens so that I can start fire using direct sunlight and then right here in the back I just have uh, another just a snack So those are all of the different items that are in this big pocket All right guys and moving right along to one of the last pouches that we're gonna be talking about Right here and this is kind of working around to my right side the way that I wear this Basically we have a, a compass as well as a whistle. This is from Topps Knives So I like to keep this around my neck for navigation as well as to signal for help and then of course real quick access to this survival handkerchief and the handkerchiefs have lots of different purposes but if it is orange then I can basically kind of signal for help and just scream and wave my hands wildly and hopefully someone runs towards me instead of runs away from me uh, but yeah handkerchiefs they have so many different purposes so that is everything in that pouch. All right, and we're almost to the knives, I promise, but real quickly, I wanted to show you guys what I keep my flashlight in. So this is from Nightcore, the, the sheath or holster, whatever you wanna call it. And I really like this, this is, uh, can be used for a number of different things. You could even put a tourniquet in here if you wanted to. And you also have a place that you can put a Sharpie, that way you can sniff this as you're lost in the woods and it's going to make you even more confused, but your morale will go up. Now I'm just kidding, uh, basically, having a Sharpie with you, you can leave strange messages so that people can hopefully find you, the search parties, or you can just write notes to yourself and keep some sort of a weird diary um, as you continue to you know, lose your way. The actual flashlight itself is from Surefire, and what I really like about this flashlight, it's a dual output, so it only has two different modes. So it has the low mode, which it will always default to, so I really like that. You leave it off for a few seconds. It always goes to the low mode, but it basically, if you wait less than a few seconds, it'll have a high mode as well. And it's not like super bright, so it's gonna blind you or anything like that, but what I like about this a lot is that it does not have mode memory. It will always default to the low mode, which is going to save your night vision as well as the night vision of 
people within five square miles of you. So I don't want to blind myself when I'm out there lost in the woods. As fun as that sounds, I don't think the higher the lumens, the better the flashlight. And the most experts would agree with me on that. All right, and moving along, you finally made it to the part where I talk about the knives. And both of these knives are from Essie. And if you don't already know, Essie has a no questions asked lifetime warranty. So you can break this in a way that you should never use a knife, send it in, and then they will send you another one. It does not matter how you got the knife or how long you've had the knife or how you broke the knife. And if you're going to be lost in the woods, I'm trying to think of a better knife to have on me for the money. These only cost a little over $100, the SE4s, and then the SE Azula 2, which is what that is, costs under $100. So it's really... These are really good quality made knives. And I chose ones that have orange colorations on them. That way I can find them easier. So these knives, I think this is only available at one website and I'll link that down below, but these knives are amazing. So this one has micarta handle scales. So even if it's a wet environment, the micarta handle scales are going to adhere to my hand. It's going to have a really good grip. And then we've got G10 with traction grip right there for the SE4. And these are just excellent, excellent knives to have. And if you guys don't know anything about SC, check out these knives. They're actually not that expensive. I think this one is around $100, maybe just over. And then this one, I think, is closer to $60, $70. So uh, be sure you check out SC if you don't know anything about them yet. But the sheath that I uh, got with the SC, I'll, I'll link that down below as well. Um, but it's a it's a good Kydex sheath. It doesn't ride too high either. I'll just go ahead and put it back in the sheath so you guys can see it once again. It's really easy. It's the SE4 is actually pretty lightweight, and of course, so is this one because of the size mostly. And this is the Armatus carry sheath. That way, you can carry it horizontally, and then have an XO tack for a seam rod again, because why not have another way of starting a fire? All right guys, so that is everything that is inside my survival belt. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Remember, Batman can also be you in the woods or wherever you may be. Drop a comment down below or click the thumbs up button if you like this video and uh, check out those links that I left in the description box if you wanna know any more information about the gear that I talked about in this video. Y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to be repaired. God bless.